Welcome to our continuing coverage of SHOT Show 2017. That's right, the shooting, hunting, outdoor trade show in Las Vegas, Nevada, with almost 65,000 people in attendance and thousands upon thousands of brand new products. We're going to cover it throughout the week with regular updates, so stay tuned. Hi, this is Joel Persinger. I'm the Gun Guy. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really deeply appreciate it. I, I'm still at SHOT Show and I'm having a great time, although I got to tell you at this point my feet are killing me. I don't know about you. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> you know, standing for three or four days, you know, it gets you. But you've got nice spongy carpet, so yes. I'm grateful. I'm here at Traditions and their name fits what they make. They make traditional kinds of firearms. If you've watched my channel at all, you know that I have a deep affinity for single shot rifles because I've done a lot of YouTube videos on them. And one of the reasons I like them so much is they force you to they force you to really improve your marksmanship skill. And there's other reasons I'll talk about in a minute. But Allison's got some products here that Traditions makes that I'm finding very fascinating and she's going to tell us a little bit about them. So. Absolutely. Joel, thanks for the time today. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about today is our new Outfitter G2. Um, it is a break action single shot cartridge rifle. Okay. Um, so the reason for this gun is that it um, fits certain uh, regulations, uh, street wall cartridge uh, calibers in certain states that makes it available to be used during gun season. The gun's going to be available in uh, 35 Wayland, 35 Remington, 44 Mag. Also, it's going to be available in 45, 70, 243, and several other calibers. It's lightweight. It's got a 22-inch barrel, uh, chromoly steel. Uh, it's also got Cerakote finish on it, which makes it more protected against weather and any sort, yep. sort of corrosion. Um, breaks just like our standard muzzle loaders do, and it's just a neat little gun. What I liked about it a lot was the fact that I just couldn't get over the weight. Yes. Because of the fluted barrel and the chromoly steel, it's really, really light. Absolutely. And then what the price point is outstanding for the comp for the combo with the because it comes with the scope. And this is your this is your scope. Correct. Yep. That's a Traditions brand scope. And the nice thing about um, the Outfitter G2 is it's going to be available scope or non-scope. And the MSRP on it ranges from low 400s up to high 500s, depending on camo and caliber. And that's, and and that's or MSRP, so they, they might MSRP. be able to find it, a sale on them someplace. Absolutely. Or Head to a local dealer and you will get a better price. Uh, we're the manufacturer, so we sell at full retail price. Now, I mentioned a minute ago that I really like single shot yes. rifles. Part of that is my dad gave me a single shot Ithaca 22 as oh, a kid. Oh, that's and fantastic. I to, and I hunted with it as a child, so yeah. I had to learn to make every shot count. Absolutely. And I, I'm a big proponent of these for hunting, although I've hunted with other rifles and so on, but hunting should be hunting, not just killing. Yep. And, and I, I like the fact that a single shot rifle requires you to have some marksmanship skills, some tracking skills, some, you know, you know, the, the skill of hunting gets raised a little bit when you, when you place a limitation on yourself. Absolutely. But these things would be incredibly accurate. Now this is chambered, it looked like in 44 mag. Yeah, we um, which is really common. Absolutely, we have. We're, like I said, it's going to be available in several calibers for the shot show here today. We have it in 357 and 44 mag just for display. Um, they'll all look very similar, but th there will be other caliber options. Now, see, I, I got to be honest with you. I really like the 357 because I was I was telling her a few minutes ago that we, my dad uh, was a Columbia County Sheriff's deputy in Columbia County, Oregon, and he used to hunt deer with a 357. And that, that the, the 357 Magnum and the 44 Magnum really benefit from the extra length of barrel and the powder burn. Yep. And they just rock out of the end of that barrel out of, out of a rifle instead of a, instead of a handgun. It's kind of an amazing difference in velocity and, and energy when they hit. Yeah, absolutely. So they work really well for deer and medium-sized game. Both of them do. Absolutely fantastic. Should I, should I hang it back up here? Absolutely. And then you've got something really cool in the middle. Because I, I said to you the other day <laughs> that I had never shot a black power rifle yes. until about three weeks ago. <laughs> and a buddy now you're of mine, and I'm completely I'm completely and utterly hooked at this point. That's what happened. So what do you have for me for black powder rifle? Absolutely. So Traditions is known for our muzzle loaders. Uh, the Outfitter G2, it's new for 17 and it's just another uh, extension that we're you know trying to bring to the market but our main business is our muzzle loaders and um, the striker fire has been in our line for a few years now and it's it's been one of our best-selling guns it's extremely popular thanks to the technology and a lot of the features on it um, so for 17 we have previous so let me back up previously we've had a 28 inch and 30 inch model extremely accurate 20 inch guns are pretty much our industry average yeah. um, 30 inch is a fantastic length you get um, increased velocity and better downrange accuracy but we were seeing a need for people like myself who are smaller framed um, also those who may be hunting in more 
wood type situations where they don't necessarily need that longer distance right. and uh, increased accuracy because they're not shooting at, at 250 plus yards. Right, it's more like 75 probably. Or Absolutely. Yards, right. um, also, just those who are looking for a more maneuverable gun, those who are going on long hunts. Uh, it's actually so this gun. Let me let me back up again. It's called the the Striker Fire Backcountry. So it's meant for those who for are going on long in the hunts. Right. Absolutely. So it has a 26 inch barrel instead of the 28 and 30 inch. So okay. again, just a little more maneuverable. Um, another option for those out there like myself who are smaller framed um, or just someone who wants a more maneuverable firearm. It's still got the uh, chromoly steel barrel. Uh -huh. and, it it's, has and it's fluted, which you, I don't know if you can fluted. see on the camera, but it's fluted, which lightens the weight of the gun, lightens the weight of the barrel quite a bit. Yep, it's got the nitride finish, which we uh, introduced last year. So both the inside and outside of the barrel are coated. This is gonna help be more protective against corrosion and weather. So you're not gonna get that fouling ring that you might see um, after shooting right. several times. So it's yeah. gonna be a lot easier to clean and it's not gonna rust or pit as quickly, if at all. Um, the best part about this gun to me is uh, the trigger. Um, so it, the, the striker fire system here allows us to put a better trigger on the gun. It's uh -huh. called our TAC-2 trigger. It is a two-stage competition style trigger and it's set at two pounds. You wow. pull it back to a certain point and it's, it, it, you can just feel it just stop a little bit and then you touch it and it breaks clean. So it's almost like a set trigger because you have the first trigger that sets it and the second one is just like nothing. Yeah, you could definitely say that um, everyone who picks up this gun though and either uses the trigger or dry fires it here at the show just says, wow, that trigger is fantastic. Yeah, that's two so, pounds. That's got to yep. be crisp. I haven't tried it yet, but I will. Yeah, you are more than welcome to. And uh, the striker fire system as well, if you push the button forward, you can cock the gun. So it's a lot easier. Um, not, I, I guess I shouldn't say it's easier than pulling a hammer back, but it can be quicker. Um, and then to decock the gun, you simply press the silver recess button here, or you can break open the gun and it automatically decocks. That is really user friendly. Absolutely. That's very ergonomic. The gun has our the accelerator now, is that bridge plug. Is, is, I've never seen that design before. Is that exclusive to you? We we do have a patent on this gun. That's a very that's a very neat design. I'm sorry, you're going to tell me about the. No, yeah, uh, absolutely. I was just going to keep continuing with um, the accelerator breech plug. It's really a, a, a removable breech plugs are a standard in the industry at this point for muzzle loaders. But our accelerator breech plug, which makes it different, is that um, it is a one piece stainless steel breech plug. So the nice part about it is you can use loose or pelletized powder. Some other breech plugs you have to swap out an insert to use the different types of powder, but this one you don't. It's all in one, and you can use either either type of powder. See, this is really a great education for me because I'm just now learning. Uh, you know, as all, I'm almost 60, you'd think I'd have learned something about <laughs> muzzle loaders and, this, and, and no. black powder guns at this point, but now I'm just kind of getting into it. So no, I think it's fantastic, absolutely. More and more people are getting into muzzle loading, and it is so much fun. I love to shoot muzzle loaders, I love to hunt with muzzle loaders, and it's a one shot challenge, and I think it's awesome that you're getting into it. Thank you very much, Allison, for that. I appreciate it. What great guns you guys make. Now, do you have a you have a website that I can put a link in the bottom of the description of the, of the video? Absolutely. You can go to www.traditionsfirearms.com to check out our full product line. Um, we'll be updating all the new 2017 stuff as we get back from SHOT Show here. Um, you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Oh my goodness. You got, and, and you can find them on Gun Guy TV, obviously, Now you can find time. us on Gun Guy TV. How about that? <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, Allison, so very much. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Joel. We it's really great appreciate guns. it. I'll put those, li those links in the description for you so it'll be easier to find you don't have to hunt for them uh, no pun intended <laughs> keep looking we'll keep watching we have some more updates coming from shot show 2017 here in las vegas thank you very much for watching have a wonderful week and whatever you do be safe